Thank you very much. Uh, first, let me say that uh, with the uh, Philippines abstain or after our abstention, we made uh, an explanation of hope. And we tried to make very clear that there were many elements in that resolution which we favored, especially those concerning the need to address the humanitarian concerns and sufferings of civilians, especially in Gaza. But as mentioned by the Minister of uh, the Netherlands, there was one very important issue that was not reflected, and that was a mention of the terrorist attacks on October 7, where in our case, four Filipinos were confirmed to have been killed during that attack. We had wished to have a reference, at least, to that to that terrorist attack in the resolution. And in fact, there was a Canadian amendment to include a reference, a reference to that uh, terrorist attack on 7 October. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it was voted on and did not pass, but it just missed uh, actual adoption by a few votes. But we have felt that was very important, at least to recognize the fact that these were terrorist attacks and that Filipino nationals were actually uh, killed during that attack. And in fact, we have still two Filipinos missing as a result of that 7 October attack. We felt that should have at least been reflected in the resolution. Nevertheless, there are many points which we have said that we supported in that resolution, and we will continue to support efforts by the United Nations to put a stop to suffering in Gaza, and also to hope that we can open a humanitarian corridor further for the relief supplies and goods, and also for those uh, uh, people in Gaza who wish to leave, especially non-nationals, of which we have about uh, 80 Filipinos. So we are fully in support of that. So given that, that is the context of why we had to abstain, which again, uh, please note that abstention does not mean you're against the resolution. We just felt that there should have been something important to the Philippines mentioned in it. Thank you. Thank you, Minister.